this big hit basically broke up the band. Details coming up on Rock Music History Lesson. I Love You by Climax Blues Band is a sweet love song written by the band's bass player, Derek Holt. He wrote about his first wife and how she inspired him to follow his musical dreams. It's all about meeting that special someone who makes your life better. In an interview with Song Facts, Holt says, quote, It was about meeting my first wife, meeting the lady that's going to encourage me to do what I did best, and that was a musician with no qualms about it. I used to go away from home, used to leave her behind, and I used to come back. I was a hippie, a drinking hippie with really long hair. We had a great time. I'm meeting my wife, and I've never looked back since then. You know, pretty much out living a dream, because, ooh, I love you. Unquote. Holt reveals that he penned I Love You in a couple of hours in his home studio. When American producer John Ryan flew to England for pre-production on the band's album Flying the Flag, he asked if they had any more songs. Holt had already played I Love You for the band, but they didn't like it. This initial reluctance adds an intriguing twist to the song's journey to success. Ryan, however, saw its potential and declared, that's a hit. Holt says, quote, We arrived in L.A. to record the album at Sound City Studios. When it came to I Love You, our producer got Nicky Hopkins to play the grand piano. Hopkins played with John Lennon, Elton John, and many others. So it was me at the Fender Rhodes, Nicky by my side at the Grand, and John Cuffley on drums. The three of us laid down the basic track. I then put on the bass, sang it, and did all the harmonies. Pete Acock, the lead guitarist, played my guitar solo, even though he was not into the song. Lead singer Colin Cooper wasn't even on the track. Then the producer decided to get a real string section on the track, which was the icing on the cake. Warner Brothers came to the studio for the album launch so the executives could listen. They all raved about I Love You. They got behind it and it became a hit. Personally, I thought it sounded just incredible. Up until Flying the Flag album, we used to split songwriting royalties four equal ways as we were all credited with writing songs. For this album, we had a meeting to discuss starting to have songwriting credit split separately. I lost the argument to keep it all the same as before and gained 100% of my own song. Ironic. Unquote. The rest of the band got a bit worried when the song took off and Derek Holt started getting more attention as a lead singer. They planned a big tour in the U.S., but Colin and Pete weren't keen on supporting Holt's newfound fame. Even though the song was doing well on the charts, they decided not to back him up and they said they were not going to promote his career. If you're enjoying the content, please like, share, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. We'll let you know when we upload a new video. Holt never got to tour and sing the song live, so he felt slightly cheated out of performing it. But it ended up being a hit on the radio, and many people loved it. Holt even gets emails from folks who got married because of the song playing it as their first dance at their weddings. It's a very well-written song. Here are a few verses. When I was a younger man, I hadn't a care. Fooling around, hitting the town, growing my hair. You came along and stole my heart when you entered my life. Ooh, babe, you got what it takes, so I made you my wife. Since then, I never looked back. It's almost like living a dream. And ooh, I love you. I Love You was released in the latter part of 1980 and climbed to number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts in 1981. This success followed their first big hit, Couldn't Get It Right, which climbed to number three in 1977. 
These hits marked significant milestones in the band's career and contributed to their lasting legacy. Derek Holt eventually left the band in the early 1980s to pursue other musical interests. The Climax Blues Band continued with different members, but the departure of key figures like Holt marked a significant shift in the band's history. There was a brief moment in 1999 when he and Acock played with some famous guitarists and tried to form a band, but nothing came of it. Pete Acock, lead guitarist, died in 2013 at the age of 62. And Colin Cooper, lead singer, died of cancer in 2008. He was 68. Hey, thanks for watching Rock Music History Lesson. I'm KW Keen.